Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are gonna learn about EMD function, which stands for Earth Movers Distance, and uh, this is a statistical method. Also, we use in image processing. Uh, what this function do? It basically gives us the difference, the distance between two probability distributions. This probability distributions we can also call histograms. We getting from the Kalkis function in here we learned before and all this is basically gives us a difference but this is very similar if we think like that this is the compare his function why this is uh, what's the difference actually the method with this emd using is different than this function uh, also it's not easy to embed to this function easily this emd function so that's why i think they are these are separated between each other okay and uh the, the, the difficult part uh, to for this function the getting the signature the giving output we are giving these two signature input to create these things because these are should have some formats some format type so we need to create them then uh, after that we are just giving the this type in here distance types we are knowing and giving these methods giving these types then we are getting the difference between histograms okay let's see the code part uh, I think you already know until here because in our previous videos we talked about these things long time and we separated for these functions long time we already know how to get calculate histogram and this is our histogram output but the point we cannot directly give this histogram output to EMD function because it should be have a type first of all the output should be in the full out type this is the first one and the second one the output should be uh, include all of the histogram output should be in the uh, in a in a row the first row should be include the histogram output uh, parameters histogram output values in the first row then the other row second and the third row should be include the location of that uh, uh, that index value we are giving what I'm talking about first for example in here we already defined our histogram size this one but what does it mean let's see with with the console output let's write it to the console hist out that size and close the end l okay let's see first of all here we are defining our histogram size in this size which means uh, it's just uh, include, for example, continue like 50, 40, 22, like this goes like this until to something like let's say like this. In this large at all uh, in a row, just in one row, but we need one, we need two more rows for to, to be able to reach the format to signature to create a signature those ones uh, should be the uh, location of those indexes for example maybe it's more easy to understand after this let's write it okay this is our histogram for example in for this image i'm giving these two images one of them belongs to okay for example this is the one row one column and these are at all rows in one row so in here you need to write for example this 239 which column this is which row this is we need to tell first of all rows the rows uh first of all columns i'm sorry the columns since there is only one column we are giving zero what about the rows let's say this is in the row 44 because i didn't count i don't know oh, okay zero two one two three four five six seven so sh this should be seven i need to give the format i need to convert the format to this one just that after that we are creating we are being able to create signature okay this for loop uh, before that for loop I am creating signature template in here signature uh, mask we can also call after that the first row I am equalizing to the histogram output uh, corresponds and then I am giving the column and then sorry I am giving the row and column i think this should be different maybe let's see i'm maybe mistaken here okay like this then we are calculating directly this temp2 and temp1 our signature anymore then we are just giving the type these types can be anything i don't know this huber this l1 this l2 we can choose from this list let's choose first of all this l1 and let's see the result okay i 
I get a result in here, but what does it mean? Here are the my, my images, for example. In here I have a car, similar car, red color, but also different, totally different image. So in the compare his function, you will remember, uh, first of all, if we give this two output, uh, there are to four methods we already talked, and they will give us some output according to their histogram similarization. Similarization, we can say. And these two, uh, okay will give us very similar results in here also 0 0.08 what does it mean more close to the zero value you it means it, the, those images more similar those images histogram are more similar to each other we can say for example if you give lena image sorry if you give lena image you will get a get a more bigger results like this also with the other one if you compare Lena again, you will get again bigger number than you get normally with the each other. Yeah, okay. So, uh, I think no need to talk more about this function because it's very simple. It's just comparing, just like before in the compare his function, it's just comparing the histograms. There are one, there is one thing in the also compare his video I already talked, but I need to, um, I need to highlight again. In here, I'm just taking the images directly, but the best part, even in compare his function, also even in EMD function, the best thing you need to do is converting these two images from BGR to HSV because these histogram values based on a uh, color, so it's very easy to affect by the uh, by the brightness by the light from outside, so it's very good convert these two th two images to HSV first then using their hue and saturation channels to use for these functions yeah in the previous videos I already suggested and again I am highlighting because this is the this is an important part and I'm suggesting you to use to compare the histograms in your applications it's very good to you choose HSV than BGR. Okay, I think I'm done for this video. See you in the next videos.